Now with more ginger hair that you can't see because it's wet. Also, there are some new changes. You've probably noticed the uh, different set design with the Dalek poster I'm in a different corner of the same room. If you've been following me on Twitter or my blog over the last month, you'll have noticed some changes. And if you haven't, here they are briefly, sort of. There are six changes. First, it's going to be a bi-weekly show because um, it's only my husband and I producing this and it's all, all post is done in our spare time uh, between editing Henstrom, which uh, you can see the trailer for in I think the second episode. So yes, it's all very much spare timey and in order to make this the kind of show that I want it to be, I decided an extra week to gather extra footage and give us a little bit more time to um, put that much extra effort into post-production is going to be better for the show in general and also more fun. Secondly, I'm going to be introducing guests. I'm hoping to have a guest once a month, uh, interview style, and um, they'll be really fun. I have a couple lined up, well, more than a couple lined up, and I'm very excited about it, and I think you'll be too, because they're all working on really cool things that you probably want to know about. And they might even be introducing a new segment or two, which would be awesome. Also, on a segment-related note, there will hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, be more out-of-studio segments, which, uh, or in-studio but me not at my desk segments, which will probably include more gaming, hopefully a bit more Alex, which brings us to our fourth point, because that would just be fun, because he's sort of the guy behind the computer, but he's really cool in person, too. Um... Fifth, I have a Facebook page for Curie Geek. Finally, it's about time. Um, so all of the behind the scenes posts and tweets and pictures that I put up will all be there. So you can go to facebook.com slash Curie Geek and like it and you'll get to see all of the cool stuff in my musings and random behind the scenes stuff including a post of my vantage point from right here. Sixth, I have a new store. I put my logo on random stuff on Cafe Press and you should go check it out because it's really cool and fun and I have cups and purses and shirts and they look really cool. The other thing that we did um, last month was we went and saw the last Batman movie. It was actually, and I'm very surprised about this, but it was the first Batman movie that I've actually seen in theaters. I realized that I didn't see the first one in theaters, and I wasn't allowed to see the second one because it had the word dark in it. So, strange, yes. Um, but it was the first one that I'd seen in theaters, and I love all three of them. They're all fantastic. I love Christopher Nolan. Um, and the last movie, The Dark Knight Rises, was just phenomenal. It was amazing. Um, without giving away any major spoilers in case you haven't seen it, it was awesome, basically. And the way that he tied in um, minute details from the first movie that made complete sense in the last movie, but it was stuff that you'd forgotten because it was like years and years ago since you've seen the first movie. It was just amazing and the story arc was an awesome and the plot twist was like... I wasn't expecting that and I'm generally good at figuring movies out but it was just crazy. The only thing that I didn't like in the movie and uh, well also I guess in the franchise was um, Bane's voice and I think that's because I don't I didn't actually know much about Bane like I've watched Batman before, and I grew up on the Batman cartoon, sort of, like I saw it when I was little, and I dressed up as Robin for Halloween, but I didn't really know much about Bane, I didn't know about his thing, and um, so his voice was really high, and that uh, unnerved me a little bit. Well, it didn't really unnerve me, I just wasn't really prepared for it, and I felt like he was being a little over-emphatic, so for the first, like three quarters of the movie, I didn't really understand his character, and I was trying to figure out if he was trying to be sarcastic or what, but also I think it's because um, 
it was just such a huge contrast between Heath Ledger's Joker and Shadow Heidi, I like blue flowers and you can't see me person um, guy from the first movie. And then, and then of course, uh, Christian Bale's Batman voice, which is weird and deep and whispery. Uh, was like a huge like gap between <laughs> between Bane and Batman. It was it was weird. So that took me out of it a little bit. But as a character and a villain, Bane was just absolutely amazing, and it was it was just awesome. And I was very impressed. And overall, it was a very very satisfying um, trilogy. And I want to go back and watch uh, them all over again and then go see The Dark Knight Rises again because I haven't seen it a second time yet. So I'm hoping that the second time um, I'll be able to take Bane more seriously than I did the first time because I understand better now what's going on. And um, everything makes so much more sense. So if you haven't seen it, you should go see it. Um, if you haven't seen any of the Batman movies, you should watch them all first and then go see it because then everything will make even more sense and your mind will be blown because it's Christopher Nolan doing his thing. So, yeah. This next season is going to be awesome and I promise the episodes will be better than this one because I'll have had it all together! It's gonna be awesome! Thanks, guys!